The most common reason for injection of the first CMC joint is osteoarthritis. Corticosteroid injection can provide up to four to six months of relief, but the duration can be much less depending on the degree of joint damage. In this video, I will demonstrate injection of the first CMC joint. The first carpometacarpal or CMC joint is located between the proximal tip of the first metacarpal and the trapezium at the distal border of the anatomic snuff box. The snuff box is bordered by the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus tendons on the volar margin and the extensor pollicis longus tendon on the dorsal margin. Palpate the joint space while flexing and extending the thumb. You can use your thumbnail or a retractable pen to mark the joint space for injection. Remember that the mark may shift as the thumb is flexed during the injection. The wrist can be supported on a towel roll during the procedure. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site of injection and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using 2% chlorhexidine with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Here I have a 1 ml syringe with a 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle and a mixture of 20 mg of depometrol with 2% xylocaine mixed to a volume of 0.3 ml. With a syringe held vertically, advance the needle into the joint. Aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. It should go in freely. If there is any resistance, slightly withdraw and adjust the needle. Dry the area and apply a bandage. Ask the patient to flex and extend the thumb. Pain relief can be almost immediate. 